On the previous lesson, we learned how to create our Laravel package uh, in the first base, uh, and we learned how to bootstrap our service provider. So we created this dump and die here just to see that Laravel was uh, loading our service provider. Now, we are now in this lesson learn how to uh, export our code to GitHub and from there on versioning it uh, so we can then import it on a clean web application that's going to be on the next um, lessons. So uh, I have here already GitHub and I'm already signed in as Wago. So don't forget that on GitHub, you have your username. In this case, I just write it Wago and then you can create your repository. There is the second name on this case, website. Uh, and what I want is to put all my package on GitHub so it stays there and then I can, of course, versioning Git using, um, using Git. So to do that, there is several ways you can do that. You also have seen some, uh, you can also see some tutorials on the internet where they use the command line. Well, on my case, I like to use the GitHub desktop. So we just need to install this GitHub desktop. You can download it from, uh, from the GitHub. And then from here, you can do actually everything that you can do via the command line, or at least the most popular commands that you'll need to use. So on my case, uh, I'm going to, I want to load a local repository here and then export it, publish it to the GitHub, creating the first time, the first uh, uh, commit, let's say so, and at the same time creating the repository here. Because at this moment, it shows here that there is no repository, so it shows this, this normal page here. And of course, you can create a repository by hand here, create a new repository. But on my case, I want to export the code that I already created here, right? We want to export this code and we don't want to clone it from, a, from the GitHub in the first instance. So all we need to do first is to actually in, start the git init here on the package. So as you can see, I'm located on the, on the path for the package and you just need to write git init and it will uh, initially it initialize an empty git repository because it basically what it does is it creates um, a folder here that is the the dot git and you cannot you see it you cannot you don't see it here but it's actually it will it will it will, it exists uh, on this case uh, let me just show to you very quickly so if I go here to a browser and then Web route and then web root and then package tutorial, packages Wago website. See, it's a hidden folder called .git. So this is where actually the Git versioning system will work. Uh, you don't need to do anything here, okay? You just leave it as it is, and the Git itself will will version it inside, understand what files are changed or not. But you then will have a visual conclusion here on the GitHub desktop. So now I'm going to add here a local repository and I'm going to point it out to this website root path. So as you can see, uh, packages Wago website, okay? And I said select folder and it doesn't give any alert. So just for you to see, so if I just take out website, it, it unlock, it uh, disables the button. So just for you to know that it, it, it locates if that directory that you are selecting is actually a Git repository or not. And I say add repository, and here we go. We now have here the files uh, on the local uh, repository that you have on your computer here on the GitHub desktop. So now the first thing you need to do is just do a first commit and it commits to your local repository. So commit to the master branch. I'm not going to enter into much details about this master branch, but by default you'll have um, GitHub creates this master branch that you commit all your code into. And then here on the top, as you can see, after doing a commit, it says publish repository. So I just wrote here on this summary first commit and in the history, you see that I just committed right now to my local repository here. It's kind of an intermediate repository, okay? It's not the source code that you have. It's not still on the GitHub repository on the internet, but it's on a, on a, on a repository that you have on your computer managed by Git, by the GitHub. Um, uh, instance that you have installed on your computer. And then here you can do publish repository. The first time that you publish it, it appears this window. Uh, I'm just going to, the name that you give here is the same name that you 
wrote here. So it's going to create a Wago slash website repository. And I'm just going to write here Wago website. Uh, I'm going to uh, uncheck this checkbox because if it's private, you need to pay. So I just say publish repository, wait a bit. While it's publishing and uploading all the code. And if now if you go here and you do an F5, something happens, see? So here on the bottom right, you see the repository was created. If you click on it, you see the code that you have. So this was our first commit. Our first commit means that we are committing our code into GitHub and then from there on, we can recommit, recommit and update our code base in GitHub before doing releases that you have here. So that's again, it's for, for um, another session. So in this case, uh, to wrap up, what we did on this session was basically to um, create the, the local repository. So you go file, you do add local repository here. Before, of course, you need to run this git init, uh, just like this on the folder that you have the package, don't forget. So it's set out at the end of the folder before the source. Uh, it creates that hidden folder called git, dot uh, git on this case. And then here you just do a local repository pointed there. And then you commit here with the first commit, you write whatever you want, and then you do a, a published repository and it creates on your on your GitHub. So this uh, finalizes uh, this, this uh, video tutorial. On the next video tutorial, we are going to understand how we can create a release and how we can import it in a completely brand empty project and use the Laravel uh, package auto discovery mode. That is something that came on the version uh, 5.5 uh, and from there on you can you can use it in a very simple way to bootstrap your service provider uh, without heading it in the config file. Stay tuned for the next lessons. Thank you.